First impression of Bally's, not so great of an experience. Gambling has been horrific. The waitress is really nice. She's a little overwhelmed, not gonna lie, but I understand. She's in the casino, it's kind of busy right now. What's up everybody out there, your boy JT back with another video. This time, 24 hours in Las Vegas. Have you ever wanted to go to Vegas but you had a limited amount of time? Well guess what? We're out Valley, Las Vegas, 24 hours. What can we do in 24 hours at Valley? So check this out. We were supposed to get out on 11, and he was supposed to get out on 9. And uh, we got out on 9, we were just bullshitting with the dude. So <laughs> we gotta jump back up to 11. Okay, we're finally approaching floor 11. 47. 11 47, let's go check it out. Fridge It's not hot. I don't think it's working. It feels pretty hot in there Yeah, it's not cold at all. So might have to call the front desk first impression of Bally's Not so great of an experience when you guys do the self check-in They just throw some crummy room our refrigerator does not work. You can't get a hold of anybody and there's only a few towels in there, so I mean, we're getting 
to the nitty gritty. Look at the view. I'm not trying to bitch or anything like that, but check out the view. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So, my suggestion, try to meet with the person, maybe try the $20 sandwich trick, but don't just do the self check-in because you just get the most basic room. There's no like complimentary upgrades or anything like that. This is what you got. And we only have like three drinks and we're staying 24 hours you remember. So I don't think we're gonna really call them and sit there on the waiting line for two hours or anything like that. So dinner reservations. And let's see if we can win a little bit of cash because we're down a little bit of cash gambling. We're down about 60 bucks at Bally's. We're gonna go gamble a little more. And then we got dinner reservations at Buca de Beppo. So let's check that place out. I think I'm saying it right. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but let's check it out. Pretty good. I'd probably give them a three, a low three, like mom, almost like mom. Um, it's kind of basic. There's nothing really to it. The price is a little high. just had Buca de Beppo. You definitely have to subscribe to Sin City Food Review so you can check out our full review of the place. It was all right. I wasn't too excited, too happy about it, but we did save $15 on the coupon. Let's play a few more slots. Gambling has been horrific. The next day, we are over here on the 11th floor, room 47. This is a resort to Queen. We'll come check out the bathroom first. It's a pretty nice bathroom. Big old mirror, little side mirror, sink. The only downfall here is it's only a shower. There is no tub toilet in there. You got all your lens down there. Control the toilet paper. But let's come in here. Right here is going to be the closet. So here we have the closet right here. You got your hangers. You got your little safe right there. Kind of weird how they set up the safe. Usually they put the safe in like a drawer or anything. You got your ironing board back there. Let's go in the room. It is two beds, two queen beds. We actually slept in the beds. They're really not that comfortable. Um, they sink in really bad. It hurt my back. You have some kind of old decor. You have a couple USB ports inside the lamp. Some drawers right here. You want to store some stuff drawers right here but right there that's a pretty big TV I think that's about a 55 inch TV so that's kind of cool that's one plus if you're gonna be in here watching TV 
You got some more drawers down here. And then right here you have a mini fridge, which our fridge was not working. So make sure you're checking, which now it kind of feels like it's getting cold right now, but it was not working last night. So make sure you're checking your fridge. And then a little desk with a mirror right there, a chair, a little table, another little chair right here. A nice lamp right there and then if you look out the window it's kind of a half strip view kind of a rooftop you can see I can zoom in you can see Caesars in the background you got the valley sign you got the Rio down there kind of the backside view all right so it's the next day man Gambling was terrible. Buca de Beppo, super mediocre food, but go check out our food review. But we're in the Grand Bazaar shops right now. We only have a few more hours left, 24 hours in Las Vegas. So we're gonna head to Twilight Zone Mini Golf. We got some tickets. I'm gonna show you guys through the Grand Bazaar shops. We're gonna hit up the golf and check that out. And we're about at 24 hours at Bally's in Las Vegas. Hope you guys enjoy these videos. Make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already because we're gonna go all around Vegas and do these kind of videos. So let's go check out Grand Bazaar Shops and Twilight Zone Mini Golf. played some mini call. It was we fun. lost at gambling, but we put in a 20 and won 100 bucks just a little bit ago, so that was all right. We only lost like $200 at Valley's. We had a lot of fun. We ate some so-so food. 
But that was our 24 hours at Valley. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more 24 hours in Las Vegas videos. And thank you for watching. Love you. Peace out. See you next time.